Using Tinkercad to cut an STL file in half to make it easier to 3D print. Tinkercad is an easy program to design things in 3D. You can design almost anything you can imagine. You can even design things to be 3D printed. The problem is that it's really easy to imagine and design things that can't be 3D printed quite as easily. This is due to the way 3D printers work. They slowly put layers of melted plastic down on top of each other. If there's nothing underneath the melted plastic, it will not print correctly. For example, this design for a model tank cannon, there's nothing beneath the barrel of the cannon, so it prints like this. To help with this, 3D printing slicing software can add supports to designs. These supports are extra plastic that needs to be removed later. Sometimes the supports can be very hard to remove. So would this design be possible to print without supports? As it is, it would need a lot of supports. There just has to be another way. There is, you just need to cut the design in half. To do this in Tinkercad, you'll need two copies of the design. We will use the cube-shaped hole to remove one half of each side. So you'll need two cube hole shapes, one to remove the right side, and then another to remove the left side. We need to make sure that the holes are lined up so that they neatly remove one half of the model along the same plane. I just copy and paste the first hole cube and then snap it next to the other. It would probably be safest to just copy what we did instead of trying to do it again. Now we have two models with hole shapes that are lined up over the same plane. Delete one hole from each model. You need to group each side separately so that they can be rotated. Rotate each side 90 degrees so that they can be laid down on the cut line. Having designs turn different ways can help with 3D printing issues. Cutting the design in half like this removed many of the places where layers would be unsupported. After printing both halves of the design, they can be glued back together. Try it out.